in the fight against breast cancer. Doctors at Smilo Cancer Hospital at Yale New Haven successfully targeted a woman stage four breast cancer. News 8's medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa live tonight in our New Haven newsroom with more on this breakthrough approach that they took. Jocelyn? And Darren, fortunately for breast cancer patients like Susan Tovarelli, there is so much going on in the scientific end of it, and they are directly benefiting from that breakthrough work. Susan Tovarelli was first diagnosed with stage 2 breast cancer 20 years ago. She underwent radiation and chemotherapy. But in January of this year, it came back with a vengeance. She's got these huge holes in her liver that you can see. The cancer had spread and her liver was filled with tumors. I just, I stopped thinking really. My stomach hit the floor and I was like, what do I do? Breast cancer specialist Dr. Andrea Silber at Smilo Cancer Hospital at Yale New Haven knew exactly what to do. She encouraged Susan to sign up for a study at Yale where researchers are focused on personalized medicine. In this case, they analyzed Susan's tumor DNA. Tumor DNA changes over time and the worse the cancer gets, the more mutations you find in that tumor DNA. Sequencing the tumor, a technique already used for other cancers, led scientists to find a match to a so-called smart drug, a fatinib, a lung cancer medication. Using this particular drug and seeing it work so well is a breakthrough because Susan's liver was failing. Within two months, a dramatic change. All those big holes just kind of melted away. Mm -hmm. Dr. Silber can barely detect the cancer, and Susan's organs are functioning normally again. It saved her life. A daily dose does have side effects. My face breaks out in a rash, which can get really red at times, and my skin gets dry. Easily manageable, considering what she faced head on. It wasn't one of those curl up in a ball and that's the end of it. It was, it was I'm going to fight it. I fought it before, and... I'll fight it again. She's a strong woman. Susan is taking the drug daily and it's monitored closely. The clinical trial she participated in is the MAP-IT trial and it is still ongoing. For more information, log on to WTNH.com.